Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So a big teaser just dropped for the Game of Thrones Telltale game, so this video is gonna be all about that. For those that don't know about it, I'll just explain what the game's about, then what the teaser was, and how it's all gonna fit in the expanded Song of Ice and Fire universe. And even though this isn't like a dedicated book or show video, the giveaway is still running, so all you have to do to enter that is be a subscriber and leave a comment below. So, important stuff first. If you haven't heard about it, Telltale Games is making a narrative game based on Song of Ice and Fire. It's going to be a series of stories, meaning instead of like a linear JRPG like Final Fantasy that releases sequels, the Game of Thrones game will have seasons. Inside each season, new content or patches will be released in the form of episodes, just furthering the story, like new chapters in a book. So if you think about it in terms of the books, just think of each season of the game as being one of the books. That's not how it's going to go though, it's going to pick up around book 5 in the story, but seasons of the Telltale game will be released about once a year. Obviously way more often than George R. R. Martin's novels. Within each season though, there'll be like 4-5 to five episodes, just like during the Walking Dead game. So imagine if George R. R. Martin released Winds of Winter like 4 chapters at a time over the course of a year. That's basically like how the narrative of the game is going to progress. The cool thing is, is that each of those episodes gets released every 1-2 to two months. So you don't have to wait that long before more story gets released. Even if you haven't played it, most of you are probably familiar with the Walking Dead Telltale game. The Game of Thrones one is going to be pretty much exactly like that, the way it works. They're actually getting ready to release Season 3 of the Walking Dead game. And since I'm going to be doing weekly Walking Dead episode videos when the TV show starts again, I might give out Steam codes for that, in addition to the Game of Thrones game. Both games will have the exact same mechanics, so if you want to prepare for the Game of Thrones game, just play the Walking Dead game. A lot of you asked how the game's going to fit into the canon of the series. It'll basically share the same relationship that the book and the show have. It'll take characters from the novels and write a story arc that loosely follows the direction of the books. In reality though, like when we're all sitting down playing it, it's going to feel more like a big side story, like a really big side story. You know how George R. R. Martin teased he might write an eighth novel after Dream of Spring, just so he has more room for all the side characters? Think of the Telltale game is like that, just one giant side story. Right now the game is still in alpha, like they're not even in beta yet. They're basically still writing what the story is going to be. They hired the guy that wrote Destiny, so it's actually going to be really interesting. George R. R. Martin was so upset with the quality of previous Game of Thrones games that he actually personally picked Telltale Games to develop this game. He's not going to be writing any of the stories for the game, but he does have his inner circle consulting. Because of the way Telltale Games narratives work, they basically have the choose your own adventure model. Decisions you make in episode 1 of the game will affect the story in later episodes, which is actually probably one of the most exciting things. So given prior knowledge of Song of Ice and Fire, you might have a few slight advantages into knowing where to put characters, but the story that they do write is going to be unique. It won't be completely based on Winds of Winter. It's not like the show thing where George R. R. Martin has basically explained everything to the game people. It'll take a couple threads based on where the novels are right now and then just go in its own direction. Like I said though, from a development standpoint, the game is still in alpha. It's not open to beta testers yet. Early release date estimates are December 2014, like December this year. There haven't been any major delay announcements, so until we hear otherwise, just plan on a December release. And remember, each new episode patch comes every one to two months, so we should have at least episode two or three before season five of Game of Thrones starts. For those of you suffering from Game of Thrones withdrawal during the offseason, the game will be your drug of choice. Like, you will want to buy this. Book readers will totally enjoy it just because of the story-based element, which, like I said, George R. R. Martin's camp does have a certain amount of input in. And the people that only watch the show will totally love it just for including elements from the show. I know it would be totally awesome if characters from the show voiced their characters in the game, but just like Walking Dead, just like that game, I don't think they're going to have a lot of the actors from the show in it. If you haven't played the Walking Dead game, they basically focus on a different group of characters, like they created a unique protagonist in Clementine. So next big question, what characters are they going to include in the video game? Right now the teaser they released features an Asha Greyjoy quote and House Forrester. It was this one card with the quote. It's not even a trailer. They released it because PAX is going on right now, but they haven't shown off any gameplay yet. So obviously because it includes an Asha Greyjoy quote and House Forrester in that tease, it's pretty clear that it's going to focus around these characters. And when I say Asha Greyjoy, I mean, you know, Ironborn. Ironborn, House Forrester characters. If you're not familiar with House Forrester, they're basically up near Winterfell in the north. The good thing about this is that their jumping off wood point is Deepwood Mott from Book 5 from Dance with Dragons. So in order to explain this a little bit better, I'm going to have to get into spoilers. So I will include like a little spoiler tag so you can just skip forward in the video till you don't see the tag anymore or just turn the volume down. But I'll wait just a sec. Okay, here we go. 
House Forrester only appears in Book 5 when Lady Sybil, Stannis' queen, provides scouts from their house to aid Stannis' army as they march through the Wolf's Wood from Deepwood Mott to Winterfell. Stannis is marching on Winterfell to deal with the Boltons, you know, that's the big spoiler, because obviously that's a huge event that's going to be happening in Winds of Winter. No known member of House Forrester has appeared in the books on the show yet, no big characters, but presumably they'll be featured more in Winds of Winter. The Iron from Ice quote is spoken by Asha Greyjoy. If you remember, she became a captive of Stannis at Deepwood Mott, along with her Ironborn soldiers. So all these things basically point to the story taking place in the Wolf's Wood. Because in the Walking Dead game, Clementine was a brand new character, it's likely that Telltale will do the exact same thing and create a new character inside House Forrester, or like an Ironborn character to be the protagonist. Someone that's new, but fits inside the pre-established canon. Like I said, the battle for Winterfell is a Winds of Winter thing, so no word on whether or not Season 1 of the video game will go that far. But the story is basically going to focus on the happenings between Deepwood Mott and Winterfell. Okay, so spoilers over. So in addition to the Game of Thrones bonus videos I'm already doing, I'm going to try and get my video game channel up and running by the end of the year so that I can do video game videos, you know, for this Telltale game. I'm almost done moving to my apartment, so, you know, hopefully in the next couple of months I'll have that gaming channel, Charlie Streams, up and running. There is a link on my homepage, on my YouTube homepage to that channel, but I'll add one in the description too if you've never seen it before. Like I said though, the game's not coming till December. I might be able to get a beta copy before then to do some preview videos, but I'll keep you guys posted as things get figured out. It's probably going to be a little while before any footage surfaces. I will be doing a Q&A video for this tonight, so please submit all your questions. They don't have to just be about the video game, but you can click here to get that video. I'll add the annotation as soon as I post it. And you can click here to learn all about the religions and the gods in the Song of Ice and Fire. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tonight. High fives.